Hello everyone, Plans here and in this video I want to show you the full process of how to set up an AV Pro video player, audio link and audio link controller as well as VRSL stage lights that also um, change color based on the video frame or are controllable with the audio link controller this is the same process I, I used when creating the lighting system for, for the club I'm working on that you're seeing right now. And yeah, so let's get to it. First things first, let's create a new project by using this button in the top right corner. Then um, we're going to choose the Unity 2022 world project and let's name it Audio link tutorial. Let's wait for this to finish. Before I proceed I want to take a second here to say that if you haven't played with the Pro TV package before you won't see these two on here. Uh, in order to get those what you need to do is you need to go to this URL and then click download which will open up the um, installation menu where you can just click add and it will show up as normal. Okay and here is an important step. Uh, we need to make sure that the audio link package is installed. Also something that is important is the Architect Pro TV. After that's finished, we can also update these. And we're good to go. Now we can go ahead and click Open Project to set up Unity. Okay, now that we're in Unity, let's finish up by installing the last package. That's VR Stage Lighting or VRSL, which you can find under this link on GitHub. All you need to do is go into releases, scroll down a little bit, and then download the stage lighting that the number, the version number is of course going to be different uh, depending on when you download it. Uh, and you need to download that. After doing so, you just double click it. And it should show up in Unity and prompt you to import it. As you can see. Just to make sure we can click all and then import. Now that that's finished, I want to take a little bit to go over what all of the packages do. The Architect Pro TV, as the name implies, is the TV, the video player. The audio link is, again, as the name implies, the link between audio and essentially visualiza visualizations of, of, of the audio. And then VRSL or VR stage lighting allows us to add stage lights that are reactive to audio link or DMX. Uh, you can do quite a lot of impressive stuff with it, uh, especially with DMX, but that is a bit of a more advanced topic and we're not going to be getting into that but if you want to I uh, advise you to check out the documentation you can do essentially what real life stage lights do by programming them and playing back animations now that we have our scene let's place a video player let's say a simple one okay here we got import essentials want to click that and then that we can exit out of that and okay it's already above ground let's just move the the spawn point so we spawn directly in front of it now let's bring in the audio link the audio link prefab 
and the audio link controller prefab. This is a little remote that is going to allow us to control control audio link effects. Also, let me rotate that TV screen real quick because I did not notice it was the wrong way around. Now let's link the audio controller with the audio link. We do that by clicking the audio link controller and then draw dragging the audio link over here. Great. And let's link the TV audio to the audio link. On the internet, I saw a few examples where people would uh, drag one of these speakers into the audio link, which is not the, the proper way of doing this, as if you do that, the audio link effects will be dependent on your position and how close you are to the speaker you choose. So the proper way of doing this is clicking the simple TV prefab. And over here, as you can see, we can connect the audio adapter to this TV. And that's perfect. Now let's move on to VRSL. Let's open up the control panel. Spawn VRSL local UI control panel prefab. Let's go and enable audio link. Expand this. Expand this. And over here we have a, a bunch of fixtures we can pick from. Let's spawn, for example, a spotlight. Let's move it over here a little bit. Let's change a few settings. These are really cool and you can set uh, a lot of things. You can really customize them. You can pick little designs and you can actually change those, customize those as well. Uh, but let's just enlarge the cone a little bit and lower the global intensity. Let's duplicate it. Now let's add a few different ones. For example, a flasher. Let's duplicate that as well. And then a and then a blinder as well. Okay. Now we have a bunch of lights in our scene. We can play around and set them up differently. For example, let's say we leave the 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 blinkers at bus. Uh, we have to enable audio link, and we give them some delay for a cooler cooler effect. You, you really have to, you know, play around with these, play some songs, see how all of that looks and see how you like it. You can do uh, a lot of cool stuff with those. Let's go over to the flashers and let's set those as low mids and these as high mids. As you can see also, we got the little VRSL menu, which is local. So the players in your world can change these settings to whatever they like, and they can lower the intensity or lower the quality of the, of the lights, which is really cool. And now let's move on to setting up the colors. There are a few ways you can do that. You can hard code some colors, like let's say red over here. You can do something which you can set them via the audio link controller by going over to enable theme color 
sampling. And then the theme color target, which goes from one to four, is the little color button or color option on the audio link controller. So let's say we set both of these as as the first one. Uh, okay. And now we can go over to the audio link controller. We can expand that, that and pick theme color controller. And over here, we can change the default from this yellow to, let's say, a green. So the first one should be green. And let's test that out really quick. Okay. Okay, let's import that as well. Okay, now that that's done, we can go test it out. Okay, let's put in a URL, let's play a video. And as you can see, the first color is green by default. And then we can, we should lower this so these are activated more, right? And then we can change it live to whatever we want. We can customize our setup, and of course, these are hard-coded to being red. Something cool you can also do is have that value as the default you'd like to do. For example, we could do the same with those. We can just set the default as red, and then make it changeable via the via connecting it to the audio link controller. And you know, you can play around with these bands, so you can set the activation thresholds for the lights and so on. And yeah. Now let's implement changing the colors based off of the video frame. You can do that by going over to the Simple Pro TV prefab, scrolling down and under rendering options, internal texture settings, or um, sorry, custom texture settings, you click create. Then we can create a folder called textures. And in there we can call it video to VRSL. Doesn't really matter. And we save it. Now that we have this texture, we can open up the VRSL control panel, open up the options. And under here we pick the texture we just created. And we click cross update target sample texture. We exit out of that. And in the lights that we want to be affected by the color from the current frame, we go to enable color texture sampling. We turn that on. And that should be it. Let's check it out. And as you can see, depending on what's going on in the video, the these two are changing live. Those two are hard coded, and these two, let's lower those a little bit. Um, these two are settable via the audio link controller. Of course, you you can expand this this really bare bones setup by adding more lights and adding cool settings and so on. But this, this should get you going with all of that. Hope you enjoyed and have, have fun creating your implementation and, and your worlds. And yeah, have a nice day.